And if you were to use one word to describe the Harvest Moon Festival, can you think of one? That's a good question. Um, one word, yeah. Quaint? Quaint. Quaint. No, I won't be a friend. No, I won't. First time in Gambu, Texas. I like it. It's a very, very nice community and uh, good support. So it makes a big difference. How's business? Okay. Uh, the business is good. All right. I'm happy. My name is Joaquin Cortez, and I'm a local artist here in North Texas. And I'm making sand sculpture. All right. And uh, sand. <laughs> Plain and sand. And where are you from originally? Originally, Burkina Faso which is the western part of Africa. To me, art is more like a therapy, you know? You, you don't paint because you have to paint. You paint because you feel like painting, you know? So, or making any other art, doesn't matter, music, sculpture, painting, you know, whatever. Same world, different universe. It's, I mean, it's a nice community. We like just coming you know, out to the countryside, 
and get away from DFW. And then, of course, it's it's just slowly growing. And we like what we're seeing as the show develops year to year. Mm -hmm. There's quality of artists and the quality of the organization of the show. Definitely, I recommend artists coming out here. It's the traffic is amazing. The people are very, very pleasant, very friendly, and extremely responsive. And it's great seeing the expression on their faces when they see something they like. And it's the connection is great. And I really recommend setting up here. Fly me to the moon. different than Minnesota? Actually, Granbury, there's a lot of towns in Minnesota like Granbury, so it's kind of feels like home. Oh, really? Yeah. Just a little warmer. Just a little warmer, yes. <laughs> I think you might come back next year? I think that if I was invited to come back, I probably would. It's been a great experience so far. I've enjoyed learning about the community and getting to know some of the people. What do you like, what do you like about this festival? Well, festivals that are done in this, these cute little squares seem to do so well. And it's really well organized. It seems to be well advertised. I think the festival is something you might come back to? Oh, absolutely. Sure. And why is that? Um, lots of lots of patrons, lots of buying patrons, which is kind of what we want, we hope for. One word that would describe the entire environment, the feeling I get is closeness, family, everyone. It feels like family here. Family. All right. Yeah, great family experience. Um, community oriented, maybe? Community. Um, community. Welcoming. Very welcoming. All right. Yeah, it's just really fun. Um, eclectic, maybe? I don't think one word will suffice, to be honest with you. Right. Uh, too many. It's eclectic. There's a lot of different genres, different mediums, a lot to offer to everyone. Okay. Have you ever been to Granberry before? Never. What's your uh, impressions, your first impressions? Oh, it's so fresh, it's friendly, it's comfortable. We're staying in a historic place, which I adore. Um, and very, very sweet, very homey. Think you might come back next year? Absolutely, I definitely would love to. You think you might come back next year? Most definitely. Why is that? Um, because it's fun and the people here are great, the vendors are great, a lot of neat stuff.
What made you come out to Granberry this year? Uh, the director. I applied for the show. I was looking for a show out in Texas, and I got a message from her saying that she thought I would do well here and that I should come, so I decided to, to come out. Third year here at Granberry. It's been a good little show for me. Okay, third year. Third year. So uh, what, what keeps you coming back? Uh, very good hospitality here. I take care of you here. Okay. Good uh, shows, very well directed. Gotcha. So my name is Holly Stoltz, and I'm from Santa Fe, New Mexico. And I was attracted to come to this show because I grew up in Cranberry, New Jersey, near Princeton. So I like the name, Cranberry, and when I talked to Cynthia, Cynthia James, who's running the show, I really wanted to do it. a couple of other crafters that this was a good show and it was a crafty town with a, a good population. This really is an art show, it really is, because there's some very good quality crafts, very uh, very well, very good, good quality uh, art I would say. Pottery, the glass work here is fantastic, there's a lot of jewellery, there's very few crafts which is good for us crafters because we stick out. I love it, I hope to be back next year. I am relatively new at the art festivals. So one thing you sort of learn to do is to read PR work and the very smart writing that the producers put together. And she did a really wonderful job of PRing this event and making it different than if you go to a city where you might end up in a really upscale shopping mall, if you will. All right. And so this is for this event. I like to call Granberry and the Arts Festival a destination place. And I think that's important for people that live here, but also if we're going to travel here, much more of a destination. You've got an audience, they're here for this. <laughs> What's your impressions of the festival? I think the festival is great. The festival is great. And uh, I think they have tendency of, uh, you know, like doing, uh, accepting people that actually make what they sell, you know, which is, I think, nice. Right. If we talk about art festival, we have to, to me, uh, it's nice to have those kind of things, you know, like less manufactured things, you know, like more like, because if we talk manufacture, art is not there. So like uh, it's good for people to do what they they love to do, you know, like uh, full, like you know, with their heart, you know, like not uh, like manufactured stuff, you know. I love I love the vibe actually. Look at awesome. Look at the weather. It's beautiful. You know, nice food. Nice people. Do you think you might come back next year? Yeah, I think I'll come back next year. Association member, and I was chairperson of the Harvest Moon Festival uh, 2017. We are on the wind down of it on this beautiful, gorgeous Sunday, and I think that this event was absolutely spectacular. 
Uh, our local people were just phenomenally happy. Uh, I think our out-of-town people that were our guests just thoroughly enjoyed the weekend. And I think most of the artists had a spectacular weekend. I hope you all will come out in 2018 because we're going to do this art sculpture, this beautiful live moving art sculpture again next year. It's always the third weekend in October. We had every type of art. We had sculptures, we had clay, jewelry, gorgeous paintings, fibers, uh, unusual art, abstract art, traditional art. Uh, I can't even imagine what I could have possibly left off every price range and then make sure that you plan for this event next year. If I use one word to describe the Harvest Moon Festival, what would it be? Um, I think, uh, like I said, uh, the personal. It's personal. I, I like that. It's very friendly. Friendly is a better word, I think. It's friendly. All right. That means a lot for, for an art show. Friendly. Friendly. And yeah, friendly. Friendly. I would probably say friendly. <laughs> well, I've got two words, and it's hyphenated. It's well organized. Um, fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> it's very good quality. Um, overwhelming. <laughs> overwhelming in a good way. In a good way. All right, that's great. <laughs> Delightful. Enjoyable. I'm gonna say it is quaintly festive. That's two words. Though. That's fine. <laughs> two good words. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and you? I'd say quaint. Quaint. And how about? What is it? What is that oh, mean? you know, she's not talking yet. She'd probably say like, <laughs> Perfect. Fabulous. I mean, I've been saying fabulous for the last couple of days. Darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, oh, stand by me. Amazing. Fantastic. Oh, it's unique. Interesting. Fun. Uh, creativity. And it's just so quaint. I would love to move here. I'd have to talk my head. I guess I would have to say charming. Charming. Yeah. All right. Is that, is that a weird word? No, no that's, a, that's good. That's perfect. <laughs> right? We can say coins. I think coins good. Okay.